Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. Wrestled with and against countless legends in this business. Do you have a personal favorite that you worked with? Personal favorite that I worked with? Ray Stevens. Okay. Elaborate well, for us. Ray Stevens and and another man who is very well known, Ivan Koloff. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah. Okay. Ray Stevens and I were booked against each other in Madison Square Garden on a match prior to the world champions. We were like third. He was fourth. Ray went out. I went to Ray and I says, Ray, you're one of my teachers. What am I going to do? He goes, you're going to go out there and you're going to be yourself. And I said, what are we going to do? He says, we're going to steal the show. And right away, I got an itchy feeling. Maybe we're not doing something right. So anyway, we went out there and tore the house down. 27,500 people in the Madison Square Garden in the Felt Forum. And we had them screaming for about 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally screaming. Mm. One of the greatest matches of my career happened that night. I always think I was there. I actually think I was there. Right before the main event, huh? Yeah. Uh-oh. So we go back to the <laughs> dressing room. Uh-oh. And I'm thanking Ray. <clears throat> and the door opens and I see... We go. A hand come through the door and go, I want to see you two in the hall. <laughs> Guys are in trouble for being great. Go on. And I figured, oh boy, <laughs> I'm getting fired for something and I don't know what. <laughs> and we were literally told that at that point, neither one of us, if we were working against each other, would ever go on before the main event again because the main event went on after us and people were going to the popcorn stand sitting on their hands wow whistling songs in the crowd he said who was the hand that that was that vince senior or? that was vince mcmahon senior oh boy do you remember what the main event was that night bob backland against somebody pretty sure if it was the crippler it's got to be backland against Buddy Rose's time? It might have been Buddy Rose. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been Buddy wow, Rose. Wow, we <laughs> call, yeah, brother. I don't think it might have been Buddy Rose. It's about that time Rose. period. Boy, oh boy. Now, wait, wait a minute. Backlund and Rose put on a good match. What the? Not compared to the boy, Ray Stevens, really must Chief Jules really Strongbow match. Pissed off Vince Sr. What you, on You worked earth? with Andre. Give we, us a... We, we, get, were, he did, okay. we, didn't, we didn't make him angry. Okay. It's just that he realized... You can't have that, right. Uh, you know, yeah. understand... I can't have you guys going out there and tearing down the building yeah, right. and the people looking at the world's champion and they're doing nothing. Right. They're going to the popcorn stand. They're going to the bathroom. Yeah. They, you know, they're sitting on their hand. Yeah. He said, he's supposed to be the world's champion and you guys are stealing everything in the <laughs> building but the cushions on the seats. And the other one is Ivan Koloff. Ivan and Koloff and I wrestled each other probably 10 times before we went to the garden to wrestle each other. Opening five seconds of the match, I dislocated my left knee. It popped out and popped right back in. And I said, my knee is hurt. Ivan said, let's go home. I said, we have a match to finish and we kept on. Mm. Finished the match. I limped out because the adrenaline was so high in my system, I didn't feel any pain. Sure, sure. And I have a high pain tolerance to begin with, so that didn't help matters either. Mm. Get back to the dressing room, and I'm sitting there rubbing my knee, cooling down. The door opens, and I see Vince McMahon Sr. and Vince McMahon Jr. both standing at the door, and Vince Sr. goes... It's that finger again. I went, oh, crap. <laughs> and this was right. my last night in the territory, you know, so I figured, well, they're coming to tell me goodbye and don't come back because you're just, you'd steal too much. You take too much. 
went out there and Vince said, Vince Sr. said to me, he might have just been trying to blow smoke or make me feel good. He said, Frankie, and he never called me Jules. He always called me Frankie. Mm -hmm. He said, Frankie, I've been a promoter in this building for 40 years. He said, I just witnessed one of, if not the finest wrestling match I have ever seen in this building. Wow. And Vince Jr. was standing there, and he goes, yes, one of the finest that I've ever seen in this building. Wow. You know, that made me feel really good that the promoters had given me that much credit and that kind of an accolade, even though it was my last night in the territory. Did the garden make you want to perform at a higher level? Is it true what they say when you walk through that those hollow doors of Madison Square Garden? Did you just up your game naturally? It happens without you realizing it's taking place. Okay. You are on the center stage of the premier venue for not only wrestling, oh, yeah. but any sports that takes place indoors Yep. once you walk through those doors in that building. Did it kill you that you were leaving the WWE? Like, did it? Yes and no. Yes, it, it killed me because I was leaving. No, because I was expecting to come back in six to eight months. Okay. That was the plan Vince Sr. had laid out mm -hmm. when he put Jay and I together. And I was going to, going to be gone six to eight months, and I was going to come back and start working as a single. And Vince Sr. said, and when you come back, we're going to do what I had originally thought. So I'm gone about four months. Vince Sr. passes away. Mm. And everything changed. Sure. So it, as it turned out, I, I never went back. Mm. Did you ever get a call from Vince about why you weren't 